mercy on me, the sinner. The Lord have mercy on me, the sinner. The Lord open my lips and my mouth shall declare your praise. Blessed is the kingdom of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Christ is risen from the dead by death's trampling down. Upon death and to those in the tombs, he has granted life. Christos anesti et necro thanato thanato matisas yeti. Sentis me, Masi, Zoni, Harisam, and O's. Christ is risen from the dead, by death trampling down. Upon death and to those in the tombs. He has granted love. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. For the peace from above and the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. For the peace of the whole world, for the stability of God's holy churches, and for the unity of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For this holy house, and for those who enter it with faith, reverence, and the awe of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. More pious and more orthodox Christians, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For our Archbishop Erasmus, for the honorable priesthood, the diaconate in Christ, for all the clergy and all the laity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For our country, the president, and for all in public service, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For the city and for every city and land and for the faithful who live in them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For favorable weather and abundance of the fruits of the earth and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For those who travel by land, sea, and air, for the sick, the suffering, for captives, and for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For our deliverance from all affliction, wrath, danger, and distress, and from the peril of the coronavirus, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Our brethren, for those who need the fight against the coronavirus, the doctors, the medical workers, and the scientists, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord have mercy. Greeting our most holy, and pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos and the Virgin Mary, Mary and all the saints. Us. Let us commit ourselves and one another in our whole life to Christ our God. To you, O Lord. For to you belong all glory, honor, and worship, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and to the ages of ages. Amen. By the intercessions of the Theotokos, Savior, save us. By the intercessions of the Theotokos, 
us. Savior, save us. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord of mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord of mercy. Commemorating our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and our Virgin Mary, with all of the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another in our whole life to Christ our God. For yours is the dominion, yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever into the ages of ages. Of the resurrection 
and rejected the ancestors' decision. They cried aloud to the apostles triumphantly. Death has been despised, Christ God has risen, granting his great mercy to the world. <clears throat> You apostle among the rulers and Constantine, who was beheld in the sky the image of your cross, and who like Paul received his into your hands. We entreat you to restore it in peace forever. At the intercessions of the Theotokos, O Lord who loves humanity, the sound of your voice has come to our the land, and your teachings have been received. You have divinely explained the nature of beings, and have given a rule of life for men. Through your kindly priesthood, Father Basil, intercede with Christ our God, that our souls may be saved. Though you went down into the tomb, O immortal one, yet you brought down the dominion of the and you rose as the victor of Christ our God, and you called out rejoice to the mother-bearing women, and gave peace to your apostles, O Lord, who to the fallen, Grand resurrection. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For you are God, our holy and to you we offer up glory, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever to the ages of ages. Amen. Son and the Holy Spirit. Now.
For yourself. Then Paul stretched out his hand and made his defense. I journeyed to Damascus with the authority and commission of the chief priest. At midday, O king, I saw on the way a light from heaven, brighter than the sun, shining around me and those who journeyed with me. And when we had all fallen to the ground, I heard a voice saying to me in the Hebrew language, Saul, Saul, why do you persecute me? It hurts you to kick against the goats. And I said, Who are you, Lord? And the Lord said, I am Jesus whom you are persecuting. But rise and stand upon your feet, for I have appeared to you for this purpose, to appoint you to serve and bear witness to the things in which you have seen me and to those in which I will appear to you, delivering you from the people and from the Gentiles to whom I send you to open their eyes, that they may turn from darkness to light and from the power of Satan to God, that they may receive forgiveness of sins and a place among those who are sanctified by faith in me. Wherefore, O King Agrippa, I was not, not disobedient to the heavenly vision, but declared first to those at Damascus, then at Jerusalem and throughout all the country of Judea, and also to the Gentiles that they should repent, and turn to God and perform deed worthy of the repentance. Peace be to the reader. Hallelujah. 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 Wisdom arise, let us hear the holy gospel. Peace. Be with all of you. And with your spirit. The reading is taken from the Gospel according to St. John. Let us be attentive. Glory to you, O Lord. Glory to you. The Lord said to the Jews who came to him, Truly, truly, I say to you, he who does not enter the sheepfold by the door, but climbs in by another way, that man is a thief and a robber. But he who enters by the door is the shepherd of the sheep. To him the gatekeeper opens. The sheep hear his voice, and he calls his own sheep by name and leads them out. When he has brought out all his own, he goes before them, and the sheep follow him, for they know his voice. The stranger they will not follow, but they will flee from him, for they do not know the voice of strangers. This figure Jesus used with them, but they did not understand what he was saying to them. So Jesus again said to them, Truly, truly, I say to you, I am the door of the sheep. All who came before me are thieves and robbers, but the sheep did not heed them. I am the door. If anyone enters by me, he will be saved and will go in and out and find pasture. Glory to you, O Lord. Glory to you. And grant that ever guarded by your might we may ascribe glory to 
to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and to the ages of ages. For the 
those who enter with faith, reverence, and awe of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our deliverance from all affliction, wrath, danger, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. That the whole day may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless, let us ask the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. For angel of peace, a faithful guide of our, of our souls and bodies, let us ask the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. For pardon and remission of our sins and transgressions, let us ask the Lord. Grand is our Lord. For that which is good and beneficial for our souls and for peace in the world, let us ask the Lord. Grand is our Lord. That we may complete the remaining time of our life in peace and repentance, let us ask the Lord. Grand is our Lord. And let us ask for a Christian end to our life, peaceful without shame and suffering, and for good defense before the awesome judgment seat of Christ. Grand is our Lord. Our our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary, of all the saints. Let us commit ourselves and one another in our whole life. To Christ our God. To you, Lord. Lord God Almighty, you alone are holy. You accept the sacrifice and praise from those who call upon you with their whole heart. Even so, accept from us sinners our supplication and bring it to your holy altar of sacrifice. Enable us to offer to you gifts and spiritual sacrifices for our own sins and for the failings of your people. Deem us worthy to find grace in your sight, that our sacrifice may be well-pleasing to you, and that the good spirit of your grace may rest upon us and upon these gifts here presented and upon all your people. Through the mercies of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed, together with your all-holy, good, and life-giving spirit, now and ever into the ages of ages. Peace be with all of you. And with your spirit. Let us love one another that with one mind we may confess. The holy offering in peace. 
the communion of the Holy Spirit, the inheritance of the kingdom of heaven and boldness before you, not unto judgment or condemnation. And grant us, Master, with boldness and without condemnation, to dare to call you the heavenly God, Father, and to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever into the ages of ages. Amen. Be with all of you. And with your spirit. Let us bow our heads to the Lord. To you, o Lord. Give thanks to you, invisible King, who by your boundless power fashioned the universe, and in the multitude of your mercy you brought all things from nothing into being. Look down from heaven, O Master, upon those who bowed their heads before you. For they have not bowed before flesh and blood, but before you, the awesome God. Therefore, O Master, make smooth and beneficial for us all whatever lies ahead according to the need of each. Sail with those who sail, travel with those who travel, heal the sick, O physician of our souls and bodies. Through the grace, compassion, and love for mankind of your own, be God and the Son, with whom you are blessed, together with your all holy good and life giving spirit, now and ever into the ages of ages. Hark of the Lord Jesus Christ, our God, from your holy dwelling place and from the throne of glory of your kingdom, and come to sanctify us, you who are enthroned with the Father on high and are also present here among us invisibly. And with your mighty hand, grant communion of your most pure body and your precious blood to us and through us to all the people. May God be gracious to me, the sinner, and have mercy on me. May God be gracious to me, the sinner, and have mercy on me. May God be gracious to me, the sinner, and have mercy on me. Let us be attentive. The holy gifts are for the holy people of God. One is Receive me today, Son of God, as a partaker of your mystical supper. I will not reveal your mysteries to your adversaries, nor will I give you a kiss as a Judas. But as the thief, I confess to you, Lord, remember me in your kingdom. 
And forsake us not, O set our hope in you. Grant peace to your world, to your churches, to the clergy, to our civic leaders, to the armed forces, and to all your people. For every good and perfect gift is from above, coming down from you, the Father of lights. And to you we offer up glory, thanksgiving, and worship. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever into the ages of ages. Blessed is the name of the Lord forever. From this time forth, both now and to the ages. Constantine and Helen, equal to the apostles, whose memory we commemorate today of all the saints, have mercy on us and save us, for he is good and loves humankind. Christ is risen from the dead, by death trampling down upon death, and to those in the tombs he has granted life. May the Holy Trinity protect and guide all of you. Christ is risen. Truly is risen. Christos Anesti. Christos Anesti. Christ is risen. Truly is risen. And happy name day to at least half of the Greek population today.